Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about bid mass. These are questions that come up on the arithmetic SATS paper, um, year six SATS paper, and they are about the order of operation. So which order you must do the operation in. So let's have a look. First of all, these, these types of questions come under the um, algebra section. So here you can see algebra. And there were four questions on this in the 2023 paper, most of which there's at least one, maybe two in the arithmetic paper that come up. So let's go through these and see how to solve them. So bid mass stands for brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. And what this basically um, is telling you is what the order is in which you should do the calculation. So, for example, if you were seeing a calculation and part of it was in brackets, you would always do that part of the calculation first. If you then saw part of the question was a square or cube number, then you would look at that bit next. Then you would do the division, then the multiplication, then the addition, and finally the subtraction. Um, and this bid mass helps you to remember the order of the operation, which order you should do it in, and therefore get the question correct. So let's have a look at some examples from the recent SATS papers. This question is from the 2023 paper, so last year's paper. And you can see we've got 70 plus 48 divided by 6. However, it's important that we remember bid mass so we know which part of this question we must do first. So first of all, um, if I look here, there's nothing in brackets. There's no squared numbers, but there is division. So we're going to start with D, division, and we're going to do the division first. So 48 divided by 6. So we're using our knowledge of the six times tables here. 48 into 48 divided by six would be eight because six times eight makes um, 48. And then we're going to do the addition next. OK, you can see how I'm using bid mass to help me here. So I'm going to do 70 plus the eight that I've now got from doing this part of the question, which gives me a final answer of 78. So 78 would be the correct answer for this question. And we can write that in the box provided here to get that mark. This next question similar was from the 2022 paper. And again, um, we've got addition and division included. So we're going to look through this um, and we need to look at the division part of the question first. D for division. We've got no brackets, no indices. So division is the part that we need to do first. So four divided by two, four divided by two. If I do that part first, very simply would be two because two times two is four. And then I can add the six here to the two, which gives me a final answer of eight, which seems fairly straightforward. However, what children tend to do on a question like this is if they do the if they do it like um, they're doing it linearly, linearly, is that a word linearly, um, but in order from left to right. Um, they're going to do 6 plus 4, okay, which makes 10. And then they might divide that 10 by 2, which give them an answer of 5. And many, lots of children have done this. 5 would be incorrect because they haven't used the order of the operation. You haven't used bid mass. So remember, use bid mass. Even write it down in your paper somewhere to remind you so you know that you're doing the division first. This next question was from the 2019 paper, and we've got the addition here of some brackets. So brackets is the first thing we'd look at, um, and we can see there's brackets here. So we're even going to do the brackets before the division, because you can see B comes before D. So 30 take away 24 is what we're going to do first. You might be able to do that in your head. You might want to write it down quickly as column subtraction, just to remind yourself how to do it. Zero take away four, we can't do. Borrow, that becomes two, that becomes 10. 10 take away four is six. Two take away two is zero. So it leaves us with six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do division next. So you can see 60. And we're going to divide that by six. How many times does six go into 60? It goes in 10 times because six times 10 equals 60. So the final answer for this question would be 10. So yes, if you see your brackets in a question like this, then you must do the brackets first. Then it will be any square numbers, then division, multiplication, addition, and then finally subtraction. So here are some example questions, practice questions for you to have a go at. There are 10. 
So pause the video here, have a go at these questions and remember to use bid mass, okay, when solving them. And here are the answers that you should have got if you answered them correctly. So check to see if those are correct. Did you get all of those right? If not, can you see why you didn't? Okay, thanks for watching guys. Another video, only a short video, but on how to solve bid mass type questions on the year six arithmetic paper. If you would like to watch a full walkthrough of this paper, you'll find it here. You'll see a full walkthrough of the grammar paper here. And underneath, you can see a breakdown of these papers and look at the different types of questions that will come up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I have lots of people viewing this channel who are not subscribed, but I do update it regularly. So please subscribe so you'll get notifications of when a new video comes on. Really appreciate the support for the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.